Hi guys, welcome to the flagship and actually the ISO builder. And um, yeah, it's a new country that we have now. And I wanted to share something, something uh, back office kind of uh, work. The, in the knowledge you get here is interesting for the Kali project, it's interesting for the ALCI project. You have your own personal repo on your local machine, not online as well as online and um, it's all about git fiend no, I don't know what I, how to throw it but now it but if you have a look then git fiend here is now at version 24.1.1 we follow of course the AUR so we just build what we get from the AUR it has been uh, mentioned is 27 so down here you can see that so four days ago somebody told him hey it's out of date so you can do that always AOR packages website make an account flag out of date this person in question gets an email and he should respond it is not on holiday it is not that it is not in hospital etc etc so in the meantime we can do a tutorial how to fix and have indeed the very last one which is number 25.4 already so that's that the well yeah probably should start with that so AUR git paint okay so we're talking about the maintainer of this name and what you do is you download the snapshots or you did git clone this so you type you click here then read only click to copy if you copy this and then type git clone before your um, in the terminal before url you will get you will get you will get this this information so the package build and the package build is wrong so let's fix them together for us so i need to have some references so it's not this yes it is this, it is this 25.4 that's a number i need so 25 Point four. This is the official release, and this is how many times you build it. So if I build now and later on I say, ah, made a mistake, okay, then it's number two, number three, and goes on. Okay, what's in here? Git client designed, etc. It's going to this particular resource. Control C. Control D. So we end up here. And we should figure out what the download is, but basically these guys have figured it out. It's package name, which is the underscore, so git find, capital G, capital F, all important. It is version behind it, and it's called an EMD64 dev. You know, I always say think out of the box, guys. Arch Linux is not Arch Linux, it's part of Debian, it's part of RPM, it's part of zip everywhere, and... Um, GitHub's anywhere, so it is repackaged from Debian to work on our machine, and that's the packaging part. Okay, let's try it out, and let's um, update first. So since I've changed, well, since the package has changed, let's show you that this cannot be correct at all. A new reference, new number. So the checksum needs to be updated. And a super simple thing there. Update package sums. Update bug. And that's enough. So it's downloading 0.25.4 if it's available. And yes, it's available. Wow. So we've got it. Now we need to build it. What happens in the meantime, you can re uh, well go back in the video and see that this number has changed. Actually save. And then we make the package. Well, or, and that's maybe the best thing to proceed for the first time, you type make package inside the folder where package build is. And you have a tar ZST, but this is why I would say go and have a look first here. So the package is called git fiend, it's gonna be in user, in bin, there will be a link, but it's a symbolic link to somewhere else, to where. Opt, git fiend, 
and it's gonna leave probably to this little guy here. It's an executable, I think, and a Chrome sandbox, and so on and so on. So that's basically what's gonna happen on your machine. It's going to go to these two folders, and I'm gonna add some files and folders. Now I have my own scripts, which is uh, of zero interest to you guys, but we have the script here that says, okay, go build and put it already inside my repo. And I'll open the other screen, the repo. I'm ready. Put it online. Let's first see if it worked. Finished making, okay. Moving, creating files to the repo, extra large. And uh, we have also in the archive. So if one version doesn't work, we have always, give me a quick thing to do that, to tell you that there is downgrade. That's a normal application, but we make a downgrada. And the A stands for Arc, Arc Linux or Arch Linux, whatever you like. And it's another way of downgrading things. But you need to sudo downgrade, downgrada, for instance, this good thing, right? How many versions do we have already online? I uh, shouldn't use down, sudo, I suppose. Oh. Well, just one. So I'm downgrading now to the old version, which is something I don't want. Let's take another example where you see a better, well, all versions of Dropbox that we have online. If one fails, just go back up till one that works. Okay, that's, a, that's down grada. Interesting to know it's there. Now, let me push this to the GitHub. So, yay, git hit. What will happen now? We have 25, 20, uh, sorry, 24, 24. I'm pushing now to the internet, to the repo extra large. Repo extra large. So these guys are all above 100 megabytes, basically. And now I'm syncing. Would like to see what, ha what happens afterwards, because we'll have a difference between the AUR reference not from us, right? Somebody else. And Arcanix repo from us. Control C. Right. And oh, the first thing I need to do, of course, is an update. Get the databases in. And of course, immediately Git Fiend is here. I'm gonna update that little guy and then say yay again. And here you see the difference what we have now and what's online, what you can build. So let's say that as well, this is not built. AOR is not built. This is pure package build. You need to build it. This is built. You've seen me build it. You've seen me make a tar exec. It's built. It's super fast installed. And that's that. That concludes the video, guys. Have fun figuring out package build don't work for you. We try to make it uh, so you have again your uh, favorite application. Okay, cheers.